everybody. I'm sorry that I didn't post a video last week. Uh, I was driving to Michigan, so I am still kind of trying to work out this knee issue. So I don't have any idea how this practice is going to be. I'm just kind of going for it and I'm filming it and I'm going to upload it and then I'll label it when I upload it. So hopefully you know what you're getting yourself into because you read the caption before you started this video. But um, just gonna kind of see how it goes. My knee is feeling much better. So I hope everyone's having a good week and um, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started today. Let's start today actually in um, child pose. So knees nice and wide, big toes touching. Rest your head on the mat and just allow yourself to kind of be heavy and Tune into how you're breathing. And then when you're feeling ready, just start to deepen your breath, trying to fill up your lungs. Feel your rib cage get wide as you inhale, feeling each lobe. And then as you exhale, squeeze those ribs in and then pull that belly button into your spine. Just breathe just like that a few more times. Take one more big breath in, inhale, fill those lungs up and hold it at the top. And then as you exhale, roll up round your spine like a cat, rolling the hands and knees. And then inhale, drop the belly, open the collarbones wide for cow. And then just do a few rounds of cat cow. Just gently tap your right foot out behind you. Keep the toes down for now. Reach your left hand straight in front. Find that alignment where your right hip is, make, is staying square to the floor. You're not turning up or anything. And then slowly keeping that alignment, lift that right foot up off the floor. And pull that belly button up towards your spine so that you're not dropping into that lower back. One big inhale here. And then as you exhale, touch your elbow to your knee. And inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. One more time, elbow to knee, exhale. Inhale, extend. And then if you want, you can grab your foot with your left hand and just gently little tiger pose. We're not super warmed up, so don't kill your back over this. Should just be a gentle quad and shoulder stretch. I'm not pushing to my extreme here. Just a warm up. Inhale, extend one more time, arm and leg straight out. And then exhale, hand and knee back down to the mat. 
Let's do a few wrist stretches because now my left, my right wrist is like, what in the world? So just kind of flip your wrists over. You can bring your fingers out to the side, shift side to side. Turn your fingers so they're pointing your knees, shift forward and back. Turn your fingers so they're facing each other. Forward or back, side to side. You can even make circles. And then put your hands back. Normal. Fingertips pointing forward. Extend that left foot out, keeping your toes down on the ground. Find that alignment. Hips are level. Reach that right arm forward. And then lift the left foot up, keeping that alignment. Belly button into your spine. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time. Inhale, extend. And now reach that right hand back to the left for an easy stretch. Easy peasy. Nothing extreme at this point. And my hamstrings are crazy. That's super fun. Okay. <laughs> Just feel that quad getting a little bit of a stretch in that shoulder, chest opening. Inhale, extend everything out one more time. And exhale, hand and knee down to the mat. Let's do one more round of cat-cow. So inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine, pull that belly button in. Drop your head. Inhale, cow, one more time. And this time you're gonna tuck your toes, then tailbone up, and go into your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet if you need any adjustments that you need to make here. Go for it. Make sure you're pulling your lower ribs down towards your belly button. Not arching your back. Just engaging those abdominals. Wrap those triceps so they're pointing back. And the creases of your elbows are pointing the front of your mat. We're going to swish that's not a very technical term, your heels towards the left side of your mat, and then reach your right arm up on the fingertips for a little side body stretch. And then place the right hand down, heels towards the right side of your mat, stretch that left fingertips out just a little bit, side body, and then bring it back to center. And hold down here for a second. Let's walk our hands slowly to the back of your mat into your first forward fold. Let your knees stay bent if you need. Grab opposite elbows. You can kind of swing side to side in a ragdoll or stay still if that helps you. Just letting that lower back release, head is heavy. Go ahead and shake your head no, nod your head yes. Slowly bend the knees, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebrae. Come on up, roll those shoulders back. Palms pointing forward for mountain pose. Shoulder blades are down your back. Belly button's pulled up and in. All four corners of your feet are rooted down into the earth. Inhale, arms up overhead. Meet at the top. Clasp your hands except for your pointer fingers. And then you're going to side bend over to the left. 
Try and stay straight. If you're not twisting or compensating anyway, but you're just really getting a good side stretch to that right side. Inhale, come back up to center. And exhale, side bend over to the right and stretch the left side body. Keep pulling that low belly in. Inhale back up. Arms are going to slow down. Clasp behind your back. Pull those shoulder blades back and down. Just those tiny little back bends. Look up towards the sky. Release the hands. And slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. And walk all the way out into a plank, high plank. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Slide your hands back by your wrists. Roll those shoulder blades back. And lift up into a baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale one last time. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat. And then just lift your fingers up. So you're using your back muscles to hold you up. And breathe. Go ahead and replace your hands. And then roll back down. And then tuck your toes. And then one smooth, straight, straight um, board, like a board, push up into a plank. And then roll back into a down facing dog. Go ahead and raise that left leg up, three legged like dog, keeping those hips nice and square. Breathe here. Breathe into that left hamstring. Take a big inhale here and exhale, knee to nose. Round that spine. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale. Hover for just a second, knee to chest, and then set the foot right between your hands. Adjust if you need to. Drop the right or left knee. Come up into your low lunge. Arms nice and straight. Try to, or biceps up to your ears, but roll those shoulder blades down just a hair. Pull that little belly in. Keep those hips nice and square. Pulling that right hip socket back. And we're gonna lift that left knee up. Stay in the top of your left foot. And lower back down. One more time, lift that left knee up, like a crescent lunge with, lunge with the foot tucked, and bring it back down. One more time, just for fun, and bring it back down, bring the hands down to the mat, tuck your toes, plant the left hand, spin that chest open to the right, right hand up towards the sky. Rotating from your navel, not from your hips. Open that chest up. Back leg is strong. Put that right down, hand down. Step up towards the top of your mat. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, 
down, so sweep up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Left foot back, right foot back, keep it in plank. Float through your vinyasa. If you need another cobra, do that. Go ahead and move through chaturanga, up dog, and downward facing dog. All right, other side. Lift that left leg up. Keeping those hips nice and square. Low belly pulls in. Feeling that stretch through that right hamstring now. Big inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose. Now on that flat back. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to chest. Hover for just a moment. And then place the hand between your palms. Right knee comes down, untuck your toes. Low lunge, arms up overhead. Pulling that. Left hip back into its socket. Low belly in. Arms nice and strong today. Inhale, lift that right knee. Keep the toes tucked. Exhale, drop the knee down nice and easy. Inhale, knee up. Keep that low belly in. Exhale, knee down. One more time. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, knee down. Your hands down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Right knee up. Place your right hand and open up towards the left side of your mat. On a twist. Bring your left hand down. Step that right foot up to the mat, to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Roll up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank the palm. Step the right foot back. Left foot meets in plank. And move through your vinyasa. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, climb back down. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Plant the palms. Jump or step back to chatter on your plank. Inhale, lift up. And tail down, facing back. We're gonna do one more round. And when you're ready, hop on the tip of your toe, toe, bend the knees, upper step, up to the top of your mat. Again, inhale, flat back. And exhale, forward fold. Roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, exhale, hands heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan. Inhale, hands, halfway lift, plant the hands, step or float back, hover on your plank, move through your vinyasa. Heart center, forward fold over your feet, over your feet, over your legs. Inhale, flat back, plant the palms, jump or step back, plank your chaturanga. Inhale, up top. Exhale, down, facing dog. Right leg comes through, step between your palms, bring that left foot down. Bring it up into warrior one on the right side. Four, five breaths. Think of pulling that left hip back, excuse me, right hip back, left hip forward, wrapping that outer left foot down towards the mat. Belly in, arms strong. Down to the mat, step back to chaturanga, first plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down facing dog. Left foot steps forward between the palms, bend that right foot down, come all the way up, think of warrior one on the left side. Pull that left hip back, right hip point forward, shoulders and ribs are squared the front of the room. Belly pulling in. Exhale the hands down. Step back to plank. Exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog. And exhale down facing back. Take a couple deep breaths here. We're going to start our flow now. Reset. Three-legged dog, hips square, 
Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, however, for a second. Then set the foot down between your palms and lift up into crescent lunge. Again, pulling that right hip back in the socket, left hips forward, low belly in. Back leg is strong. Ideally, you want your right leg, your right knee over your ankle. However, if you can't keep your hips square to do that, then just stand up a little bit out of it and work on the alignment first. You can let your left back leg bend a little bit too to get that alignment. And then try and kind of go a little deeper, keeping that in alignment. Now you're going to spin that left heel down, open up into warrior two. I never really talk about the heel to arch versus heel to heel alignment very much. I prefer heel to arch in warrior two. So kind of just check down, look at your feet, look at deeper there. If you need more balance, then light, then lines up. What's happening? Pull that right hip back to your right sitting bones, pointing right at your arch. Left arm is pulling back. Left ribs are opening out to that back side of the mat. Straighten your right leg. Lean forward. Drop that right hand down to triangle pose. If you need a block, you need to use your, your shin, or if you can get all the way down to the floor. Do whatever you can, can do today. Again, check your alignment, make sure your sitting bone is pulling back towards the arch of your left foot. Ribs are opening wide. You're gonna reach that uh, left hand up over your ear. And then just for a moment, reach your right hand up towards your ear too. And then stand up. Bend back into a warrior two pose. Clasp those hands behind your back. Pull those shoulder blades down and back. And then bow forward to the inside of your right leg. For humble warrior. Keep that sitting bone on your right hip pulling towards your left inner arch. Drop your head, pull those shoulder blades back, back and down as you reach those hands higher up towards the ceiling. And breathe. To warrior two. Bring those arms out. Hold, hold, hold. And cargo those hands down to the mat. Pick that right foot up. Bring it back up into a three legged dog. Shift forward into plank, keeping that right foot up. Bend those elbows, chaturanga, set the right foot down, inhale, let's go, and exhale, downward facing dog. Lunge. 
with your alignment. Make sure you're not turning that back hip out. Hips are super square. Right, our left hip's pulling back into the socket. Spin that right heel down. Check your foot alignment. Open up into warrior two. Oh my God. Pulling that left knee out over the left baby toe. Right ribs pulling back. Gaze forward over that left finger. Straighten that left leg out. Reach forward. Drop that left hand. Triangle pose. Left sitting bone. Reaching with the right or left inner arch. Reach that right arm over your ear. And then briefly lift the left arm up to your ear too. Hold the arch for all core here. And then slowly stand up. Bend into warrior two again, arms out for back issue. Clasp those hands behind your back, pull those shoulder blades down, bow forward inside your left leg. Drop your head, pull that left hip back towards your heel, your right heel. Use your core, come back up, warrior two, little back bend, open up those arms, cartwheel those hands down to the mat, pick up that left foot, leave it up in plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, left foot comes down, exhale down facing dog. This time you can spin to the outer part of your left foot. Drop it down to a wild thing pose, flip your dog. Reach back, open that right hip flexor, open that chest. And then slowly and with control, bring it back into a three-legged dog. And exhale, knee to chest. Set that foot between your palms. Come right up into Chakrasa Lunge again. Bring your hands to heart center. Knee your chest out over your right thigh. And you launch up into your warrior three. Keeping those left toes Pointing down towards the floor. When you're ready, bring your arms up overhead. Fingertips reaching forward. Left heel reaching back, 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 back. And then set that right foot down. We're gonna be left foot down. Whew, crescent lunge. And open into warrior two. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Stay on, reach forward, and come down into your triangle pose. Short breath. Look down towards your big toe on your right foot. Look about a foot in front of your right pinky toe. 
and launch forward into half moon pose. So your feet, your left toes should be facing the left side of your mat here. Gaze straight sideways or up if you want to do the full expression of the pose. Not a whole lot of weight on your right fingertips, but just enough to balance you. Go ahead and bring your left hand down to the mat, square your hips off for a standing split. Which for me right now is more of like a standing elk, and that's okay. Chest melting down towards your thigh, reaching the crown of your head towards your shin or towards the floor so your spine is staying long, long, long. And then set that left foot down about a third of the way back. Inhale to flat back and exhale over that left right leg for pyramid pose. I think you probably know what's coming if you've taken any other classes. We're going to do some handstands, kick switches, holds, whatever you want to do, um, play with it. Um, and then we'll all meet down and down and take you up. So plant your hands, step on that left foot, swing that right leg up, and kick switch, kick switch, or if you can get a little hang time at the top, that's cool too. I did that. Let's play. Facing dog. If you need to go through your vinyasa, do that. Slow your breathing down a minute. Out that same wall, 
or up if you want the full expression. Bring that right hand down. Time for a standing split on that left leg. Square those hips up. It matters more that your hips are square than how big of a split you have. I promise as an ex-dancer with that alignment, it's not worth it <laughs> to push your splits in that alignment. Pull the shoulder blades away from your ears. See if you can melt that chest down towards your thigh a little bit more. And then step that right foot down. About a third of the way up your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold over that left leg and then pyramid pose. All right, time for hand on the other side. So plant that right foot, swing that left leg up, and do your thing. not my day. <laughs> Today is not my day. That's okay. Knee in, down dog. Move through a vinyasa if you need. And once you get to down dog, drop your knees wide, sit back on your heels for a child's pose or a brief minute. Slow your breathing down. Go up on your fingertips, lift those elbows up, forearms up, feel that activating in your shoulders, and then put your palms flat, roll up, down facing dog, not for a long, pop your hands back just a little bit, we're going to do some donkey kicks, so we're basically working on pulling those knees into your chest, hip or heels to your butt in a handstand. And just getting a feel of being upside down. So up on your toes, bend those heels to the donkey. And land with bended knees. And just do that at your own pace for a few times. When you're pulling those knees in, pull in your lower abs. Keep going, take a break if you need. Oh, <laughs> I did not have it today. And on your next one, you're gonna lift between your palms and jump through into your seated position. Bring your hands, or your feet, legs straight out in front of you. Reach all the way up in here and fold over your legs. If you can reach your feet, awesome. If you can't, just remember to lead with your chest so that you're not rounding your back, but you're getting some length in your spine. Grab your 
big toes if you can with your peace fingers. And you're going to do, I don't know if this is called archer's pose, but that's what I think it's called. You're going to pull your right knee into your armpit, like you're pulling a bow and arrow, and then you're going to um, let it down, and then switch. So left peace fingers, pull that left knee into your left armpit, like you're drawing the bow and arrow, and then bring it back down. So let's do each side two more times. Pull that right knee back. Exhale down. Left knee back. Pull, 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 pull. And then exhale down. One more time on each side. Um, you can go four fold in between if you need. Pull right knee back. And then exhale down. Feet fingers on the left side, last one. Knee back, 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 back. And exhale down. And fold for a minute. Two more, off your hands up. Scoot your hips forward just a little bit, bend the knees, and roll slowly down onto your back. We'll set up for bridge pose. So, if you've watched one of my videos before, you know I like to do just a simple bridge pose to warm up and then two wheel poses. If you like to do all full wheel, all bridge pose, some different combination thereafter, do whatever feels right to your body. But let's just maybe all start with one bridge pose at least. So um, make sure your feet are pointing straight forward. Your hips and your knees, your feet are all kind of in the same line, in the same plane. Take an inhale and exhale, lift those hips up. Ponytail will be long. Clasp your hands between your back. Roll those shoulder blades underneath. Hang out here. Keep rolling the inner arch down. It's going to want to kind of open up. Don't let it release. One more breath, and unclasp your hands. Slowly roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae, until your sacrum hits. And take a little break. If you need to windshield wipe your legs, go ahead. And then we'll set up for our next bridge wheel. Whatever. If you like to go straight up into wheel, go ahead and set your hands by your ear for now. I like to go into bridge first before I bring my hands back. Just feels better, more natural to me. So when you're ready, go ahead and set up. Push up into bridge on an inhale. Up onto the top of your head if you're going to full wheel first. Tuck your chin, lower down to the tops of your shoulders first, and then roll all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Warm and tuck your knees for just a moment. Counter stretch. One more time. Hug those knees in. Forehead to your knees. And exhale. Bring everything down. And we're going to set up our final wheel. Do whatever you need to do to kind of get the, the wiggles out. That was like one of the least painful bridges I've been in. So you guys, I can't talk in it. So I can't really give you cues up there, but make sure you are continually trying to just roll your feet in your knees, 
closer together. They don't have to be together, but they're going to want to splay out. Try and keep them closer together so you can use more of your hip flexor flexibility versus your low back flexibility. Um, and then pushing your chest open, trying to get those shoulders right over those wrists. So, ready? That was your cues. Things to think about if you're going to the full wheel from here. So, go ahead and inhale to bridge. Stay there. Or bring your hands by your ears up to the top of your head. And push up. Pull. wheel and you're not dying, do a couple wheel push-ups. Those bring the top of your head to the floor, push back up. One more if you're into it. Then tuck your chin, lower down to the shoulders. Roll down. Pull those knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Forehead to knees. Oh, felt good. That's like the best wheel has ever felt for me. Usually I like really hate it. Must mean I need it. <laughs> so let's do straighten your both legs out. Pull that right knee into your chest. Take the left hand to the outer part of your right knee and pull it across your body. Right hand. Did I say, okay, look at me. Left hand, right, or, right knee, right hand up to the side for a little twist. Bring it back into center. If you can, straighten that right leg, hold behind your thigh, your calf, flex that foot, flex and point off that sciatic nerve a little bit. Then if you have the flexibility or you have a strap handy, grab your big toe with your left piece fingers, right hand out to the side again, and gently pull that left leg, sorry, that right leg over to the left. A bit of an IT band stretch, keeping that right foot super flexed. Bring it back to center, knee back into your chest, straighten that right leg out, switch sides, left knee into chest, hug it in. Right hand outer, left knee, left hand out to the side for a supine twist. Bring that knee back into your chest in the center. Straighten that leg, hold the time behind your thigh, your calf, whatever feels good. Point and flex your foot a few times. Pull off that sciatic nerve. Ooh, that one's tight. <laughs> this one's my tight one. It usually is. And then you're gonna grab, if you have the flexibility or a strap, grab your piece fing grab your big toe with your right piece fingers and gently pull over. Left hands out to the side as a kind of a counterbalance here, stretching into that left IT band. Not so much worried about the spinal twist at this point because you're going to lose the tension on your IT band if you let your hip come up too much. It'll come up, but try not to over twist in your, in your lumbar spine here. 
Breathing in. Necessarily get that IT band stretch. 